Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. How are you guys doing? So right now we're going to get into One Piece manga chapter 867 called Happy Birthday. I wonder what's that about. But oh my gosh, we learned about Big Mom's flashback last week and where she come from. She was abandoned, but at the same time, I'm even, I know it says she's a natural born and she's a human, but it just doesn't register to my head like a 5-year-old human is this big and this strong. Like I, Take Luffy, he's pretty strong. Well, he's not like extraordinarily strong as strong as a kid, but like take Ace or something. Like they're really strong, like for their age for a human. But Big Mom's like a whole different level. She's like you can't even compare. She just destroyed, demolished the whole village and destroyed a whole bunch of uh giant warriors. I'm not sure if they're warriors or regular giants, but Damn, Big Mom, like, like, how did she get this? I know it's natural born, but it just, it, it can't, like, register with me. Like, I still have my doubts if she's an actual human, you know? I, like, can't be helped. Yeah, and so, yeah, Mother Caramel has always been forgiving. People have been, like, saying, like, she should have been more, like, disciplined towards her. Like, teach her more and stop her from doing these. I guess, like, if Lin Lin was a regular size five-year-old, what... Mother Caramel would be doing would be alright, but since Lin Lin is like a special kid, she's got this eat crazy eating disorder, like mentally she's got a problem, so she's got to be, she's she got to get some help, so Mother Caramel should have done more things to stop her, discipline her and everything. Yeah, but that is crazy. She couldn't hold in the cravings. Semla! Semla is actually a real food. I didn't know this, so I looked it up, and yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Mount, Beer, Yor, he's ready to, like, slice her down. I wonder what Mother Caramel is gonna do to be, to let him forgive her. I don't know if he is gonna forgive her, but, like, I feel like she's okay with the giants until, like, the Lola thing. That's when, with the Prince Loki, the breakup. I don't know, but, uh, let's see. Oh, we got another Cavendish page. I thought short-term, like, manga cha manga covers were, like, two to three pages. It's, like, the fourth one or something? Yeah, let's see. 20-year anniversary. Ooh, it is, huh? We're starting a quiz competition. Oh, not include us. Anyways, short-term focus title page serial. Part 23, dropping in on the lives of the Grand Straw Hat Pirate Flea. Volume 3, Cavendish and Ark. Cavendish, run out of his own country for the crime of being too popular, has just 74 underlings and just 500 million betties in total, and feels like he's really in the pits. Okay, I thought this was, like... He returned to his country, but I guess this was like a slight flashback to his past. So he, it, it fits him though, like with the braided long hair and like the crown. He's sitting like a spoiled rich boy over there with the rose. Like he looks good here. Like it fits him. And he's got his like underlings or like the, I don't know, attendants like in the back. It, it, he looks really cool though. Anyways, let's get into the chapter. That's what I want to see. Oh my gosh. So... Okay, Mount Yor, oh shoot, he, he like hit Lin Lin, but like it just broke, like her, does she have hockey, like naturally have arm in a hockey, or is that just how her body is built, like an arm stronger than a giant's blade, what the hell, did she have hockey or something, that, that, that can't be normal, okay, that can't be normal, like he, the blade broke, he's shocked, she grabs his hair, and she's like, ugh, and Mother Caramel's like, stop this at once, Lin Lin, and she throws Mount Beer, I don't know his name, Yor or or Yar, and yeah, I know, I, I should go back, but uh, I'm so lazy. Yeah, she throws and he, remember, he's like 364, 344 years old, she slams him on the ground, and she's still yelling, Semla, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, He he's out, he's out cold, I don't know if he died or if he's just out cold, because if all of the giant villagers are out cold, it's not that bad. If they're dead, then it's terrible. But if they just fainted, it might be saving. Okay, so it looks like he's fainted. I could be wrong. There's like blood near his mouth area. She's still craving it. Mother Caramel's so shocked. All the other kids in the, the little lambs, um, you know, the orphanage thing Mother Caramel has is there too. Oh, all the other giants are there holding each other like, Lord. Oh, sorry, sorry. His name is Fallbeard, not Mountbeard. Mountbeard's the other guy. Yeah, Lord, you're... And she's like, Samla, oh my god, this is so scary. Like, this picture of Big Mom, like, with the eyes, like, that's, oh my god. And Mother Care's like, Lin Lin, okay, what if she dies? I feel like it's too early, but if she dies, it could, like, you know, unlock her hockey, and if she faints, I don't know. And, uh, 
what what's it called? Um, oh, Mother Caramel Smart. She's like, uh, can you prepare some samla? And the giant's like, we've got some. We got. We were saving for the midwinter festival in the village's shoe house. But okay, so they're able to calm her down. Okay, I thought it'd be much worse, but hold her down. Ah, uh, put out the fire around the village. Mother, what are you doing? Get back. It's too dangerous. Give her a. Okay, she's got. Does she have a devil fruit or what is this? Mother, mother, uh. Okay, mother, uh, what the hell's that? I give the speech, heed my cost. So maybe she's like some kind of, I don't know, angel, God's messenger. Like she's calling, like some kind of speech. I don't know, like, you could see like, there's a face in the fire. Maybe Big Mom's like, you know, how she has the cloud and the sun, Prometheus and Zeus. Does that have to do with Mother Caramel? Because like right there, that fire right there, it kind of looks like Prometheus. Oh my gosh. When he's angry, of course. Okay, a fire appeared, a face appeared in the fire. What? That's like some demon. I named the Pandora. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, hurry, give Linden some Senla. And then she's eating it in so happily, and the face in the fire turning it. So, like, yeah, it's like turning into a sun. What is, what's this devil? For? Oh my god, I was right! Sorry, sorry. Okay, mothers, yes, mother. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's a miracle. No, the sun god has made has made all right judge her she's a ch she's no child lord your treat his wounds oh my gosh oh my gosh Prometheus. oh my gosh okay okay lord mount beard oh he they're not dead they're not dead so he's fainted but he's a kid what to choose so he's sleeping and then Mother Caramel still goes in, like, please, have mercy. And then Mom Beard is like, you dare to start me, Caramel? And she, Lord, Yord is a battle comrade I fought alongside for 300 years. His age is beyond saving. Oh, so he's gonna die. And he's like, warriors care not how long they live, but how they die. I cannot forgive this child. That is true. How you die is very important. I understand, but even if you cannot forgive her, Lin, Lin is like the other poor children in the Lamb's house, abandoned by the world with nowhere to go. I can't just let her die. Like, the weight. Like, you can see, like, both sides. Like, the benefit of the doubt. Like, he has a point. Like, you just killed an old guy, but at the same time, she's a kid. She's... That's why, like, like judge courts and law courts and stuff, they're very forgiving to little kids, unless they did something serious, serious, okay? Yeah, because kids don't really know, and she has a mental problem. Okay, she's still standing there, Mother Caramel. I will take this girl and leave this country. Caramel? <gasps> okay, Mount Mount Beer, kill Lin Lin. Who's yelling that? Oh, it's a Harujin. Can't forgive her. Like, how far has the pride of Elf Bath fallen, Harujin? Then be quick about it. Disappear from my sight. Like, before he changes his mind, go, go, go. Oh, my gosh. What if Big Mom or Lin Lin kills Mother Caramel on her birthday? I don't know, I just, like, thought of that. Anyways, the hero of the giant's lore, Yor, has died. The existence of the demon Linlin and Caramel's miracle, the event of the day. She's like, what What happened? Lord Fawbeer has died, spread as if on wings through even the few scattered kingdoms of giants around the world. They all hate her. And with the Lola thing, they might, like, despise her, like, even more. They're on the ship. I wonder if they took the other kids. As they were unwilling to leave Mother's side, she took the children in the Lamb's house in tow, and with Charlotte Lin Lin, who had l earned the full ear of the giant race in tow, Mother Caramel left Elf Bath behind. Hmm. But if Mother Caramel is dead, then how is Prometheus still there? I know it's her devil fruit. Maybe, like, it can still live without her, but... Hmm. Unless... I got it. I got it. Big Moms has the soul devil fruit, so maybe she could take the soul of Mother Caramel and then she could keep using it. Eh? A new life at the at a new lamb's house began. And okay. Oh, I still the I still see the giants there. Is this okay? Yeah, that's plenty. To be honest, we'd rather not look at Lilin's face, but you are the mother to the giant race too, Caramel. You can always rely on us. Thank you. So, even though they hate. Lin Lin, they owe something to big, to Mother Caramel, because she was the one who told the Marines, like, hey, hey, the Lord's looking, like, you, you can't, like, just destroy the giants, you can't take them captive, no, yeah, so she helped them, she saved them in the past, so they kind of owe her, so now they're kind of, like, balanced out, they're like, let's build you a house, and, yeah, 
So, to brighten the clouds of worry that darkened the hearts of the children, Mother Caramel's smile never once faltered. This woman is amazing. Okay, and after but a few days, return, everything had returned to normal. Something's gonna happen again on the birthday, on the birthday. Wait, wait, Cat Linlin's gonna kill us! I can't believe they're still playing with her normally. I mean, they might be shared, scared, but... I don't know. I thought everyone would be too scared to fight with her. I mean, to play with her. But maybe she they don't know that. Only when they see that she has that craving, then you keep away. Other than that, it's okay. Sounds of the children's laughter echo throughout Lamb's house. Okay, Lamb's house was known thus. Any and all, any and all problem children will be reborn under the mother's miracle power. I really want to know what her power is. Eventually, they would meet nice foster parents. I never thought you'd lead Elfbath. Oh, the world government! I was prepared to do everything to that to prevent that kid from getting away. Oh, you see a tiny Prometheus lighting Mother Caramel's cigar? Think about it. At the age of five, she managed to half destroy the village of Elfbath. She's irreplaceable, but this price, you can't tell me, you can't pay it. She ain't gonna sell, sell Lin Lin. In terms of marine ra- Oh my god, is that CP? CP9? I don't know if it's CP9 exactly, but one of the CPs. In terms of marine rank, this one's cut out to be an emerald or even a fleet emerald. Oh my god, she ain't gonna sell her out, is she? But Mother Caramel is the... But she's gotta help Lilin, but... <sighs> Your CP types care about is protecting enough... Providing enough protection to the Ten Yubito, right? Then let me tell you, as a slave... Child's... Child slaver for 50 years, this is my greatest product yet. <gasps> 37 years ago, I pulled a fast one on the marines and slipped into elf bath. Indeed, the reason the first giant marine soldier, John Giant, is because of my connections. I've been deceiving those kids in the land house years after year. Dang it! I mean, she didn't do anything horrible. Did she sell? I mean, she just said she was a slave trader. I mean, a child slaver. I've been deceiving. And once every two years, I sell an orphan to the government. I was just saying how great she was. She was just protecting Lin Lin so she could earn some money. These kids are perfect for spies. No one can track down where the orphans are from. Fine, fine, I get it. I get the money together somehow. So she's trading. She's selling out Lin Lin so these guys can like use her as a spy because like she's so strong. They can like raise her up to be. Like that, and since she's loyal to Mother Caramel, she's gonna do anything Mother Caramel's gonna say because they don't know her real attention intentions. What the hell? And she's just there like the evil look, you know? Of course you will. It isn't easy playing that mother act, you know. I think I should start winding winding my activities down. Time to wash my hands off this business, my last deal. Orphan seller, Mother Caramel, underworld name, Mountain Witch. I think of something like Yama Baba. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so disappointed, but I am. I thought she was like the savior, the... <sighs> oh well. Anyways, okay, next page. Um, she's happy there. Ho ho, what song should we sing today? Big Sake, Bing Kasu no Sake o Todoke. Okay, Bing Sake. Well, that's the pirate song, Sally. Yup, and we'll be pirates one day too. Nope, I'll just sell off every last one of you to the government. Is that so? How cool. Oh my gosh, I sh so many people like backstabbing each other. Like, it all started with pudding. <laughs> Anyways, happy times with the kids. Sleeping and laughing and Mother Caramel said, hee 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 hee, LA. <sighs> and happy birthday! Congrats, Lin Lin! Oh my gosh, is she gonna have another craving? Is she? Her nose is running, she's so excited. Wow, thank you everyone! We piled up a bunch of your favorite semblance to make this. It's called the Croque Bouche. Sorry if I butchered the name. Croque Bouche. Let's have a tea party. A tea party? I wonder if it'll turn out alright. You call them croquet bouche? It looks so yummy. Eat as much as you want. Yup, eat, eat. Oh my god, oh my god. One day, Mother Caramel. Let's make some tea. She sure can eat yummy. Wow, so happy, so good. Vanished into thin... One day, Mother Caramel vanished into thin air. It was the day of the funniest birthday of Linlin's life. Her friends from the lamb's house who had grown to like her and the kind and generous mother, she, sur she was surrounded by everyone's smile. And as she ate her beloved sweet... Birthday care, Lin Lin couldn't help but cry. What a wonderful day this was. She could barely see through the tears. I remembered in the flashback, I mean, like the previous chap few chapters, she said Mother Caramel just disappeared, right? So, she didn't die. I, 
Well, let's let's keep reading. Leonie, what a wonderful birthday. Maybe we see more flashbacks. Okay. <sighs> I was so focused on eating that I chomped down on a few uh, on a table a few times. So thanks everyone. I'll never forget today. Oh my god, did they all leave? Did they all leave? Like, oh, let's leave her here, abandon her, and then let the uh, CP guys come over, and then maybe she defeats the CP guys. Okay, let's see. Like, it looks like it's empty, abandoned, they just left her again. One day, Mother Caramel, where'd they go? Vanished into thin air. Did something else happen? Because maybe that didn't happen, but Mother Caramel's, like, cloak is on the floor. Oh, so it triggered something. It like we're back back to the present kind of. Anyways, let me see. Huh? Uh-huh. Where are they? Everyone in the house don't leave me. Oh, I know. She it doesn't show here, but she probably went into her eating disorder and killed everyone. That's why it shows the mother caramel's cloth on the floor. You can see a little blood. She probably But she, when she see bodies around or maybe the marine I get the feeling she she went into the eating disorder and then just, like, destroyed them. But there's no bodies around. Let me see. But these are kids. So, like, the giants, at least, like, she made them fake. But the, if she fought the kids there, they would have died. Where are they? Everyone in the house, don't leave me. Where are you? Hey, mother. Why'd you suddenly disappear? My god. Triggered something. She sees the flashback of the mother. She bursts into tears. Yeah, this triggered her. Where'd you go, mother? Please, no break. Okay. Mother, her roar is louder than expected. The assassination plot continues. Oh, I want more flashback. Like, where did Mother Caramel go? It's either they abandoned her, but I feel like it's really weird that they left the cloth on the floor. Her, her mother caramel's cloak on the floor and you kind of see some blood you can't really tell but there's something like liquidy next to it so that's what i'm thinking but yeah my god oh my gosh i just read this comment it says did she eat them by accident It could be true. It could be true. She might have eaten them. That's even scarier if she ate them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, let me go back and, like, let me see. Because, like, she probably ate... Okay, this was her sixth birthday. But she probably, like, ate so much and then she... She just... Oh my god. Okay, okay. Like... In this panel scene, you could see like, oh, how do you like, like look at this, okay? She, there's like some stuff on the ground that's like beaten up and demolished. Like you could see she went on her rampage, but everyone, I think she ate them. I think she ate them. Oh my God. It's too late now. Like, oh my God. Fuck. She, I think she, she did eat them. I mean, or she just went so crazily bad that Mother Caramel would just grab all the kids and leave, but that seems unlikely. Holy crap, is this chapter creepy? Holy fucking crap. That's all I have to say. You tell me your thoughts of what you think happened down below. I will be reading them. I really want to. I'm be like looking at every single reveal. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think she ate them. Like Mother Caramel. At least she didn't know her mother was like that kind of person. She didn't get a chance to sell her out. But how would the Marines would have dealt with her? Like now that she's still sick and she's alone. How will she deal with it? How she found the devil? Her soul. Oh, I think she ate them. If she ate them and her mother, Caramel's inside of her, she could use the devil fruit to get the, the Prometheus and the zoo. She got the, because she ate them, so it's in her. So if she get the soul, soul fruit, she could still use the power, if that makes sense. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I'm just so shocked, like, it's scary enough that she has this enormous power, this, and then the mental disorder, and then she kills so many of the giant warriors, but to eat 
cannibalism is just she doesn't know what she's doing too. She doesn't know, but it's just so scary. So, like I know I said this last time, but I'm gonna repeat it. I before this flashback, I was just thinking, eh, Big Mom is probably the weakest of the Yonko. After seeing this flashback, oh my gosh, like. I think she she has to, oh my gosh, she's so strong. She's like crazy. If she actually fought Luffy and them, uh-uh, no chance. Okay, when, her, when is her hockey gonna like come out? What will trigger it? I thought the Mother Caramel disappearing would trigger I mean, it probably did, maybe. I don't know, but oh my gosh, so crazy. Tell me your thoughts down below and I'll be sure to read them craziness. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, peace out. Ah.